Schnoppelläufer. Brand of the eraser and then the cost of each one. Um, pencil that I used was an HB. HB is pretty, I guess, standard. I also did color pencils and for inks, um, I decided to do two kind of like different liners from two different companies and I added the Pentel pocket brush pencil. Double laufer. So it means double runner. Let's see if it is worth the 250. 250 for three uh three of these small little guys. Um it's kind of a lot, right? So this is the Milan Nata 624 synthetic rubber eraser. Okay, so the Milan, this guy here, is 50 cents. Um, I hope that's not a reflection of how it's gonna do to like, <laughs> just like pull it down. It's working a little bit, so let's, let's see what we can do. The bigger one is, mm, it's not, it's not awful. It's not awful. It's um. Let's see the uh, color pencils. Kronos picked up a little bit. There's a little faintness. And my Kronos picked up a little bit. There's a little faintness. Um. But overall, the inks are doing pretty good. These erasers are doing pretty well on the inks. So yeah, the Milan Nata 624, made in Spain. It's a standard eraser, your run of the mill. And for 50 cents, like, I don't really think you can go wrong with this, just as a general eraser. Next is the Sumo Grip plastic eraser. The Sumo plastic eraser is $1.60. So for this size, <laughs> it's a little pricey. Uh, hopefully it's, it's worth it. Okay, this is a good one. This is a keeper. <laughs> this is a keeper. It is almost as good as the uh, the Pentel Craft Design Technology Eraser. This was the uh, Pentel Craft, and then Sumo is here. This is like almost as good. Not bad, not bad at all. So the paper did come off a little bit here. But overall, ink-wise, it's not bad. I, 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 I'm not sure if I would pay 160 again for this guy, but it is a damn good eraser, I think. Um, if you could find it in a pack, I think you'd, that would be the best bang for your, for your buck. So this eraser is the, oh boy. Cor Okay. <laughs> Google, I need your help. Yep. Yep. I'd. Nope. <laughs> this eraser. Um. The. Uh, yes. This eraser was. Uh. So far, the most expensive one. It is $3.65 for the single eraser. Um, I don't know this brand, um, but at that price, it 
it should be worth it. Oh, I erased some of the other side. Uh, not, not bad. That is a pretty good eraser. I don't know if it's $3.65 good, but it's pretty damn good. There's the catch. <laughs> There's the catch. <laughs> That's it. That is the end of the game for this one. <laughs> I have a feeling this is not going to pick up ink. On a whole though, it's pretty good. It didn't really pick up uh, any ink. Oh, they even have like English in here. It says does not remove ink. Well, you damn skippy because it didn't remove any ink. Non-abrasive pencil eraser, that is, that's about right. Good job, okay, next eraser. So the next eraser is the Tombow Mono Black. Um. The mono eraser is actually another eraser that I do like to use, um, but I've never used the black plastic eraser. Alrighty, and the Tombow Mono Black, the small, <laughs> this little guy is 207 The third uh, expensive eraser. That is a, uh, wow, I feel like these guys, one, two, three in a row, were pretty, pretty good. Not bad, not bad. It's not bad, it's, it's okay. If you wanted like a little gradient effect thing going on with your color pencils, it'd be pretty good. <laughs> Nothing, absolutely nothing on the ink. It is the goat, I must say. I must say. And at 207, is it reasonable for this size? Mm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, though. I'm pretty sure that you can get it in a pack because I've because I have mono erasers in a pack, so those are. Those tend to be a bit more reasonable. So our next and last eraser, finally, is of course the mother of all mothers. Any comic, manga specific, <laughs> manga artist knows this eraser. Any watcher and lover of manga and anime knows of this eraser. It is of course the Tambo original. Mono plastic eraser. Pew, 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 pew. Air horns. Bah, 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 bah. So, this is also the eraser on my shirt, which I showed you guys earlier. And here we are. Um, so, for this eraser by itself, I don't know how much it is. Uh, when I actually got this eraser, it came in a pack of five. A small size pack of five on Amazon is uh, $4.98, which would make these erasers, just by cost alone, the most expensive. Not too bad. I think the two Pentel, uh, not Pentels, the two Monos, these guys and these guys, <laughs> um, it's about the same. It looks like the original is a little better than the black, um, which is interesting. Voila, lo and behold, inks are still intact. We are done, you guys. Woo Here are all of our erasers again. Uh, I don't know, you guys, this was, there were none that were like awful, except for this one probably. This like, you know. This. <laughs> In last place, this little dude. Uh, 
So in 10th place would probably be this dude. <laughs> um, I think 8th place? Hmm. I think it's between the Milan and the Kum. Um, I'm going to give 8th place to the Kum only because it's a dollar fifty, and I feel like if your stuff is gonna be a dollar fifty, the the should be a little better. And after that, I'm gonna give the Milan, and then after the Milan, I should probably be writing this down. I haven't written this down. Yikes! I think I will add the Tombo Black. Oh no, that's not Tombo. That's not Tombo. Tombo Black. <laughs> I think I'm going to add. Carondash. Yep, that's that's next. Next after that, I would say mono. After mono would have to be our little guy, Mato. <laughs> our sumo grip and our reigning champion. Reigning champion? I've only done this once. Our champion would definitely have to be. The Pinto. So, here is the order of the erasers from most effective to least effective according to our test. <laughs> I think the Kum and the Milan were pretty neck and neck, but that price for the Kum, if the if the Kum was 50 cents, it just it would have been tied, I think. But because the Kum is like a dollar more and it didn't do, it did the same as a 50 cent eraser, <laughs> I think uh, that, that puts it a little below it. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please let me know in the comments down below which eraser was your favorite, which one you're considering buying, um, or which ones that you have already. And as always, big, 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 big thank you to my Patreons. Thank you so much, my Patreons. If you enjoy my work, if you enjoy the content that I provide, uh, consider becoming a Patreon. The link is in the description down below. Um, you can get access to me and my work and the concepts and illustrations and all that kind of stuff, all for as low as a dollar a month. So please consider it. And thank you so much. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you are interested, follow me on Facebook or Instagram. I'm more so on Instagram. Um, but you can follow me on both if you want to. That's basically it. Thank you for watching the video. I love you. Peace.